Hi, my name is Josh. I work for the U.S. Forest Service in the Columbia River Gorge National Scenic Area. We're out in the National Scenic Area, some place that you're probably going to do a bit of hiking or at least some outdoor activities. So it's always a good idea to bring your 10 essentials. Today, we're going to talk about those 10 essentials. So we're going to talk about the importance of the 10 essentials. They're essential because some of it's the first aid kit, those emergency supplies, the weather changes, and food. I mean, you might go out a little bit longer than you would expect it, so it's always good to have some snacks with you. Uh, you need something to carry them in, like a nice backpack. Uh, and when you have those with you, at least you're going to be prepared for something that, you know, maybe the weather forecast wasn't exactly right. And there you go, you got, you got your stuff. Uh, so we're going to go through my backpack, show you what the 10 essentials are and it's good to pack your own backpack so you know exactly where it is i don't know how many times someone's like yeah i've got it in there but i don't know where it's at because i didn't pack my backpack so pack your backpack i like to keep my first aid kit near the brain or the top or somewhere easy to access in your backpack first aid kit uh you know band-aids ointments uh you know maybe it'll change for where you're at uh, like here in the Northwest, we have poison oak. It might be good to have like a small bottle of a soap that can take away those oils. Uh, definitely some bandage, uh, varying sizes. Uh, you know, might get an elbow scrape, so it's good to have one that can go around there. Waterproof, stuff like that. Uh, and then within there, I got a multi-tool, which has knife, pliers, uh, screws and stuff like that, you know, multi-tools are great, uh, gets all the things into one spot, uh, knife as well in case you are stuck out longer and have to do an unfortunate uh, overnight stay. Uh, leading off of the unfortunate overnight stay to maybe you're actually not too far away, good flashlight, make sure the batteries are good bring extra batteries, coldness, weather, all that type of stuff can, you know, ruin that battery life. Um, another emergency thing, having that whistle. Uh, a typical three bursts of a whistle is the emergency signal for, hey, I need some help. So good to have that. Um, again, fire starter in case things didn't go as planned. Uh, be aware of fire restrictions, especially out in the wilderness. Uh, keep our forest green, don't burn it down. Last resort if you definitely need it. Um, some string helps because it can help you make shelter, tie up something that broke unexpectedly. There's been some times where I've been glad to have it. Older backpack, maybe a buckle breaks. There you go, you have that. Um, so we've got first aid kit and emergency supplies. And we'll open this up. Sunglasses are a good idea to have. Keeps those UV lights out of our eyes. Helps you see during bright sunny days. Uh, and also speaking of the sun, getting some sunscreen, uh, whatever one works for your skin, that type of stuff. Also important, water, and extra water uh, during the hot summer months, gallon per person per day. Uh, can't stress that enough. If you get dehydrated, you can become a little bit delirious, and that increases the chances that search and rescue will need to be called. And have a fun day, don't get lost, don't get hurt, all that type of stuff. help with the fun we're in the northwest so having an extra jacket uh, either a rain shell and a jacket or like this one kind of serves as both it's warmer than just a rain shell itself but bring your waterproof gear um, extra clothes 
because wet clothes are cold clothes. It could be a sunny day, one hour, and then it could be damp. If you didn't bring extra clothes, hypothermia can happen and it happens quick. So extra dry clothes, you know, maybe you don't need it when you're out, but once you get to your car, if you have like a long trip home, you can just switch into them and it's still nice. Snacks and food, again, you might not have planned to go out just for an hour and it ended up being three hours. So it's good to bring extra food and snacks. Also for the sun, it's nice to have a hat. I've already got one on, but you know, what if this blew away? I need to put on my smoky bear hat. Part of the other 10 essentials are good footwear. Know your appropriate footwear. Do not go hiking in flip-flops. Do not go snowshoeing in tennis shoes. Get the appropriate footwear. Your feet will be happy. That makes you happy. So while you're out, another thing that you're gonna need is a paper map. We might all have these fancy devices, but again, battery dies, it gets cold, it's gonna die. So paper map, and what goes along with that? A compass. Take some time to learn how to use a compass. You know how to use one of these and one of these together? You don't need this thing. So bring your 10 essentials and something to carry them with you. It might even be good to have it in your car just stashed there as well. So have a go bag. You're out there with your 10 essentials, you'll be happy.